Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick makeup look. We are finally starting to see some fall weather here in LA, though the sun just came up, which I'm not happy about because it was like nice and overcast and I was so, so happy. But anyway, I've been thinking about my fall makeup look and this one is a little bit more va va boom for me. Maybe not for you. This is like a makeup look I would wear if I was going somewhere and I wanted to try. You know, I wanted to try to look good. I would put this face on. And what I like about it is that it's monochrome. So it's, you kind of have like those red tones from the eyes, cheeks down to the lips. And I really, really like that. And it's definitely on trend for the fall season. So I was just playing around and I really, really love this look. So if you like it and you want to see how I did it, definitely keep watching. Before I get to it, <laughs> uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I've been growing and it just feels good to see that I am making my mark in this YouTube world. Um, no, it's really exciting and I'm having so, so much fun. So yeah, just stay tuned and you will see how I came up with all of this. So first up, I have my Dior Skin Hydrating Concealer. It's really great, it's lightweight, and it goes perfectly with my Dior Skin Serum Foundation. These guys are great together as they are sister products. So I always like to put my foundation from the center and then work outwards, that way you're getting a natural, like a blend out. Now I'm using my Anastasia brush with the dip brow, and I like to wet my brush so that it applies the eye gel better. This is a great brow gel if you have thin sparse brows. I wanted to try the Glossier Boy Brow, but I don't think that works when you don't have brows. And now this guy is just a little cheap eyeshadow base. It's okay, I hate that it's so light, so I will be replacing that soon. <laughs> Now I'm using one of my favorite shadows from MAC. This guy's brown script, so as you can see, it's a nice reddish brown. And I'm just putting a base color in. I actually should have started with that, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Then we're gonna darken it up a bit. I don't want an actual smoky eye for the daytime, but you know, I just want those edges to look nice. So now I'm just going on top again with another round of the brown script. I usually never put eyeshadow underneath my eyes, but I've been experimenting and I definitely like that technique. I'm gonna go ahead and brighten my eyes and add a little contrast with a black liner in, in my eyelashes at the base. I like this mascara because I think it has vitamin E in it, though it may still have parabens and sulfates. I actually haven't checked that, but as you can see, it gives me nice full lashes. So I'm gonna go on with my favorite blush and it's the Calypso Coral by Bobbi Brown and I'm putting this contour stick on top of my blush because it just adds another dimension. So this is one of my favorite nudes. It's a darker nude and it, as you can see, it's like literally the same exact color as the eyeshadow so it works perfectly. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and place it on the apples of my cheek just to bring that color all the way around. Now I'm just gonna brighten up this look with a little bit of the strobe cream all on the key spots as you can see. I don't like powder highlighter, so I try to stick to cream products. So I love this look. Gonna finish it off with a little bit of a misty spray. Now it's time to get into the hair. Just gonna use a little bit of coconut oil to untwist my little twisties. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, this look is done. This is gonna be my new fall look for when I need to just step it up a notch and maybe go out for drinks with friends. I definitely will be rocking this look this fall and I'll come up with something new for winter. So stick around. 